Hey, welcome into the arena today. I want to talk to you and show you a couple of horse trainer sayings. The first one is, the title of this video is, it takes a lot of long, slow hours to train a horse. And this is Ruby and she is, uh, Lord willing, going to be my competition horse for cowboy racing this year. And uh, this is February, she'll turn four in April, I believe. So she's a long three-year-old now. I started having some problems with her late last summer when I started pressuring her to go into flying lead changes. She was getting halfway okay at taking our, her lead departures, picking up the correct lead, but she got really bothered by the lead changes thing. And for a variety of reasons, I just ended up laying her off for a couple of months. And then when I came back, I put her into a traditional Hackamore Bozelle and rode her through the winter in a Bozelle without spurs. Because I had the luxury of giving her some time and that just allowed her to kind of calm down. Plus the Bozelle really helps with your neck rein because they get, they get pretty good with the neck rein with that horsehair Makati. So you can see that, that she learned that. That's probably the main thing she learned over the winter. I also had her teeth floated and took her to the chiropractor to make sure we didn't have any issues there. And so just in the last five or six rides, I've put her back into a snaffle bit, put the spurs back on and started trying to work on some of this stuff. Why do I say long, slow hours? Because the things that she needs to know, uh, things like a spin. And in cowboy racing, you have to do all the reining horse moves, plus be able to rope, plus be able to drag things, plus be able to go through scary obstacles, jump into muddy water, all kinds of things like that. But I've been working on the reining horse stuff and so let's just see how she does. I just warmed her up. I've been out here about five minutes. So I'm gonna put my leg on her and see what kind of a turnaround I can get to the right, right here. Okay, so I worked on that in the Hackamore and that's actually pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with that. I worked on that in the Hackamore without spurs and without spurs, I ended up kicking her pretty hard on the shoulder with just my bare boot heel a couple of times, which I think is, you know, pretty instructive and doesn't hurt them in any way. Uh, the other thing, and I've been working all of this, it takes a long time to get this. And that's the whole point of this, long, slow hours. So now I'm gonna work on moving her, uh, I'm gonna ride away from you and do a little two track. So, because what I need to be able to do for those lead departures is get her to move her hip. I'll ask her to move her hip to the right. And she did it, that was better than yesterday or whenever I rode her last. Let's go the other way, move your hip to the left. Okay, not bad. Um, so she's getting better on this stuff. She's moving her shoulders pretty good. She's moving her hindquarters pretty good. Uh, let me work a little bit on a rollback, which is a maneuver that she has to learn. And again, you work on this slow. If you try to speed this rollback up, so I'm gonna trot down the fence here. If you try to speed it up, you're gonna end up with something pretty ugly. So I'm gonna come here, stop, back up two or three steps, roll her over and trot her out of it. And I've been working on this. I worked on it in the Hackamore Sum this winter. And that's actually a little bit better today. And I want her to make that turn off just the neck rein without me adding my leg. I will if I need to, okay? And then I, I go real slow and then I trot her out of it. Because if you try to rush this, then that horse will start hopping and doing all kinds of things you won't like, all right? You want them to get really comfortable with these moves very slow. There, I had to add my spur and then trot her out of it. Let me do one more, back up. That was pretty good, okay? So, long, slow hours. How long have I been working on that with her? Well, since the second ride. <laughs> um, I started riding her probably 18 months ago, I'm gonna say. And you can see my wife's little Christmas puppy out here. He, he's not real familiar with horses yet, but I think he's okay. All right, so now, the last time I rode her, I think it was three days ago, I was working a little bit on these lead departures and her 
bad habit is that she likes to throw her head up when you ask her for a lead departure. And then she does that out in the pasture. It's just the way she does it. She'll throw her head up, hollow her back out, and take off, which is wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> so in order to teach her the right way, I, I've got to get her nose down, try to keep her, hopefully, keep her broke at the this joint here, that's a little harder to do, and get her to take that lead departure. And she may get a little bothered by it. And I'm gonna start it at a trot rather than a walk because it's a little easier for her to do it from a trot into a lope. And I'll do it as I come around here. And if she throws her head up, I'm gonna correct her depending on how bad it is. Let's see what she does. So I'm gonna ask her for it. Oh, that was really good. When I did this three days ago, she did a good one. And uh, I immediately got off of her and loosened the cinch and put her away. So that tells me she remembers it. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Woo. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I was starting to work on lead changes, flying lead changes last summer, late last summer. This is mid-February now. Um, and as I said, she got real nervous. So I have not tried it. What's that been? Six months? Five months? And I'm not going to try it again today. I want these lead departures, both directions, to get pretty good where she can do it without getting upset, which she's starting to get there. And then I'll start working on the lead changes. And that's probably another 10 rides away, I'm going to guess. Long, slow. Now, here's the other cowboy or horse trainer saying, if, he gets, if she gets 1% better every day in 100 days, they'll be 100% better. I first heard that from Craig Cameron. I don't know if it's original with him, but anything you want your horse to get better at, you're not going to fix it hardly ever in one day. But if it gets a little bit better, you know, if you're just trying to teach your horse to not rub your leg up against a tree going down the trail, if you can get them, you know, if you can work on it and get that horse to step over just a little bit, then good. Tomorrow you can get a little bit better. And uh, a lot of things I've been working on with her, long, slow, hours. If we get 1% better every day, we'll make it. <laughs>